problems. Yeah. And sometimes, hey, if, if your opponent isn't cool with it, if you got the controls that you have, you're stuck with them. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, they can definitely pull a, a dirty card like that yeah. and make you stick with it. All righty, getting into old Ferrum Town dude versus Corp mm -hmm. Level Ninja Shadow Mewtwo Corp versus Shadow Bryce. Mewtwo. Corp recently just picking up Shadow Mewtwo, has been ha pl playing Shadow Mewtwo a lot recently, so we'll see how this works out. And you know, I have seen, I have uh, watched a lot of the streams with Corp Level Ninja in them, mm -hmm. and he has been doing pretty phenomenally, I would mm -hmm. say, with yep. this character. Yep. And it really, it just boils down to playstyles. Yep. When was the last time he fought dude? You know, there's a yep. lot of different breaks in playstyles. Mm -hmm. And if he's not careful, dude will run away with it, like you yep. can see right now. And then, <laughs> yep, just dude, just keeping. A and lot as of commentators, here. as I was saying, dude, keeping Storm away, but then uh, Corp away, but then again, from there, Corp just got in. Dude does have the Molga online. Mm -hmm. He is going to activate it for himself here. Not enough. He does get just barely tapped by Court Level Ninjas and attacks. Then, which does get followed up by that burst. Oh. This is going to be big. He's got the shift on himself here. Oh, and again. Oh, nothing. I think that he got a little bit antsy yeah. with that burst there. Yeah, I think, yeah, a bit antsy. So, like, breaks and still in, I guess, uh, the invulnerable frames from yeah, getting hit. So we are seeing a lot of projectile play. Both vortexes coming out for both of them. Blunt well, doesn't have vortex. It's more like pillar. But either way, <laughs> fire blast from duty is getting a lot of poke on to corp level ninja here. He's got to be careful. But the patch Ooh, nice, nice dash of grab from that. Yeah, getting that double dash, you have to get maximum <laughs> distance here on the screen in dual phase. So I mean, it depends on how you can utilize what you're given with your characters here in this fight between dude and corp level ninja. Thank you. Nice EAC mm -hmm. in the grab here. He is going to get a nice little chunk of damage off here. No wall splat, so we're not going to see that little extra okay. chip. Yep. All right, homing attack coming in here, but Ooh, he just barely, just barely lets barely go shield. Really. All right, both burst coming up from both players. players. What do you think like, the real moment here is going to be? Because there's so many different setups that can oh. happen. He does get the grab. Is it going to be it? Two <laughs> HP. Alrighty, dude, gonna activate his burst. Is it gonna hit? Here it does. He gets the crit. Let's see. Will burst? Will this get it, or will burst save Corp? Max damage. Dude takes game number one in this best of three against Corp Level Ninja. Really excellent job there. And then I have a game soon, so I will be swapping out for Queen Evil Fluffy. So yeah. All right, we are seeming to have some technical difficulties. We appreciate you guys staying tuned. We love having you in the crowd. Thanks. So it looks like we're trying to get our game audio back. It looks like there's just uh, probably a little cord got bumped. But uh, matches are still going on. Uh, we have them back in the FGC area if you want to see a few more matches. Uh, once this tournament is over, we'll have it open for friendlies and practice. So if you want to come on by, try out the game, feel free to do that. And it's always good to see get you know new play players and people into the scene. If you find a game that you'd really truly love, like the Pokemon franchise, this is definitely one of those games that you want to pick up for yourself because it does tie in a lot to other fighting games. And I do like the mechanics of those. I mean, you see a lot of just random fighting games. Just kind of it seems like bits and pieces of fighting games just came into this. We have uh, good bits of Tekken naturally because uh, the same guy who's, who made Tekken made this game as well, but. You, you saw it, the Sceptile Flash Kick, uh, you know, straight out Street Fighter. <laughs> the Crow Gunk walk up, the slow walk up. Oh yeah, the, the Miguel Punch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, we never see any players do that in bracket. I need to see that more often in my life. Uh, it's a completely ballsy read. <laughs> it really is, it really is. It you're either is. gonna do 250 damage just straight off or you're going to, uh, <laughs> you're gonna get hit. Well, I mean, even so, with the buff, like, you know, um, you double buffs. And then, you know, if you set up, if you get the, um, 
No, I remember this was patched out a long time ago, but I always feel like it's still just barely there. Is uh, RNG manipulation getting the boulder versus the tornado? Okay, getting the just rain yeah. on the, uh, <laughs> was it JY or JY, JX? It was JY, I believe. JY? There was a small just frame that Crow Gun players found that gave them guaranteed RNG for tornadoes, boulders, allowing them to extend combos so much easier without having to guess. Exactly, yeah, and that was so huge because the damage from boulders and tornado was massive every time they hit you. The chip damage, the damage itself, every It's a huge threat. Exactly, and the shield stun as well. Yeah, it allows you to set up, do whatever you want, but here we are heading into game two of Loser Semis. And I do really like what Dude did last time. He did a lot of zoning in and out here. He kept Corporal of a Ninja on his toes. And was really keeping him out from being able to find his way back into the game. But that was Just actually... Just a quick dash of grab thing that the Utah players are famous for. <laughs> and that level 3 side wave is actually now a laser. It has huge priority. Nice little dash up grab as well from Dude. Like I said, Utah players, we do love our grabs, don't we? Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> Team I, grab. I, I definitely hear it from the uh, other ex, uh, the outside players about our, uh, our grabbing tendencies. But here we are. We've got a nice fireworks show. Here's the thing, though. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Get grabbed. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, Corporal Ninja does go for his burst. burst. Yep. It's going to be a lot of damage here. I don't think this is going to quite take it. He might end up with about 30 HP or less. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna make it, I'm a Batman, go 20. Oh. Close, close, we are right in the middle so there. Close. Now something I'd like to see out of uh, Court Moore is using Miracle Eye and Field to set up the mirror, set up the uh, the Electro Ball trap. Oh, absolutely. The, the pillar. Yeah, the pillar is actually a really useful tool in finding your way in against your opponent. You never know when he's actually going to activate it because there is such a long time frame for him to be able to pop the pillar and catch off guard. Now we are seeing a lot of zoning play coming out here, but the double swords, Corporal of Ninja almost getting his first again. Oh, we're seeing some Storm Striker here. Oh, <laughs> going under with the 2i. He's saying, I am the next Storm Striker. <laughs> It's always good to have more Shadow Mewtwo's. They, they deserve a little bit of love. It might make them a little less edgy. <laughs> you know, not not as as sad as they, as they seem. You know, that's what's important. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he'll be less angry. <laughs> with the world. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, no more blowing up the world with first. Yeah, exactly. No, what does he do instead? Oh, straight into forward wide. Taking that phase change. Nice. Does catch him into the pillar. Gets the follow-up, but draws, just barely drops it. Mm. Nice catch. Yeah, you, you really got to hand it to you, dude. There's a lot of times where you have to be super careful about what you're doing with catching vulnerable frames because it can do a lot of damage to yourself. You're, you're taking a huge risk by doing that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, very nice. Just dash <laughs> in their grab. What do you know? <laughs> what do you Another know? Utah strats? No. <laughs> Look at that. More Utah strats. Here we go. Triple grab? No, okay. I mean, he still could do it. No. If our, if our lovely uh, fighting game T.O. Tux was playing, we would actually have a grab counter on the screen. <laughs> and this is actually going to take it. Corp Level Ninja is going to get a game off here. He's oh, not no, saying. Oh, no, I've insulted Tux. Here he comes. <laughs> Corp Level Ninja take, actually tying up the games here. This is going to be really huge. I initially wasn't in coming over semis, here. Both players have gotten really far off of their skill. We got to hand it to them because they do put on quite a show. So yeah, we do do a grab counters. So they grab way too often. That's not the reason why I came over here, but... We all had to dope. pick it up from somewhere, and that's yeah. the important thing. <laughs> Heading into a game three, are we seeing any support changes, or I mean, we just sticking to the classics? Yeah, and, you know, I do like the the Molga Fennekin choice, um, but it does leave you susceptible to a lot of things that Shadow Mewtwo, you know, Shadow Mewtwo can do if you're not careful. Uh, Shadow Mewtwo can teleport out of those, I believe, on reaction. And and not only that, but because Fennekin has such a great ability to catch people off guard, but at the same time, if you are really precise on it. You can't punish it with burst. So you have to be careful about what you're doing. But dude, running away with this that game That right so there far. is punishable, but dude missing out on that grab punish. That was a really solid gameplay coming out from oh, dude yeah. in game three. 
Um, there wasn't a whole lot of hits being taken on himself. He was doing an excellent job of just applying so much pressure onto Corey. Yeah, he, he, he was very careful not to approach because it's, it's honestly terrifying to, to approach Shadow Mewtwo. He's, he's got such a solid mid-range. Right there, shoulder checked. <laughs> and you really got to hand it to Dude here. He is covering the options. He's covering the bases on how Corp Level Ninja can approach. He's not really giving him the ability to do so. And we're already seeing this right now. Corp Level Ninja forced to use his burst. He is in... Oh, oh Fennekin's about to save him. No. Oh, Counter Pierce, I believe? I, it did look like he got... Uh, yeah, he did uh, Counter Pierce. That it was a beautiful job using the Fennekin to just push him back and keep him out. Knocking him out of dive kick. This is getting close. Shadow Mutants are famous for their low HP comebacks because of how much damage Rage can do, but oh, that may kill. Just barely drops the combo here, but he does get the grab, and that's going to be it. Dude taking it 2-1 over Corp Level Ninja. Very, very good, solid games out of both of them. Let's see who we're getting on our stream next. Now, Queen 